Who is ready for another toy show? What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be checking out the Woodbridge Toy Show at the APA Hotel now in Woodbridge, New Jersey. This show never disappoints. We'll be set up there and walking around. Hopefully I can find some cool pieces to add to the personal collection, you never know. So why don't you come along and check it out. And the first booth we're hitting up is NJ Devil Collectibles. Always love checking out his booth. Always brings the fire. Here we go. You can see starting off with some Breaking Bad, some older Attack on Titan, some anime autos. And then checking out his wall of pops here. He always brings a nice selection of autos. Nice selection of constant and anime. So just a lot of great stuff here. That Alan and Baby Carlos. That White Goodman, which has been going up in value lately. Ace Ventura. Signed Billy from Saw. That Freddy Funko Skeletor. The 1,000-piece Metallic Toucan Sam. That is a sought-after piece for sure. The Flock Ted from San Diego Comic-Con. Original Biggie. Metallic Ghost Rider. Coming over, he's got that Walgreens Anakin. That... What do we got here? This Super Grover flocked 5,000 piece below a Barnes & Noble exclusive flocked Elmo. Just love those Sesame Street Pops. We have an original Bane here from The Dark Knight Rises. Hollywood Hulk Hogan that came with the video game. A Bait Baby Milo. Just so many, so many great Pops to choose from from NJ Devil. So if you're ever coming to these shows, definitely come check out him and his wall of Pops because there, there's always some heat. And then over here, he's got some on the side, that Metallic Sorcerer, Mickey, and Chernabog, and the Fred and Barney 2-pack, and that 3-pack of Carolina Panthers, which you really don't see often. So just a great selection from the man, NJ Devil Collectibles, out here at Woodbridge. And next up, I decided to walk past my booth over here, and you can see we have that new Care Bears Universal Monster line, a bunch of Art the Clowns over there, our nice horror section, some Walking Dead, uh... A trio of reptars there. People love reptars, so anytime I can get those, I'll uh, definitely pick those up. A couple Batman, some Breaking Bad. Looking at it, the Zenitsu autograph. That auto just looks so amazing. I love the way he does it, so really great job there. Coming on over, you got a nice section of Freddy's, including that Officer Freddy from New York Comic Con. This is the shared sticker, but one of my favorite Freddy's of all time is that Officer Freddy. Love seeing that. Oh, someone's grabbing a card from us. Coming over to our anime section, we browse over, and then you can see we have that Marvin the Martian up there, another Hollywood Hulk Hogan, and then take a look at these. The Peter Perfect 750 pieces, as well as the 750 piece Rufus Roughcut with Sawtooth. Those are the Saturday morning cartoons uh, from uh, San Diego Comic Con, that pop up shop. Those are also exclusive with Toy Tokyo. Coming on over down, checking out some, some more anime, a couple more Freddy's and mascots. See that gold, Goldie Roger from Fun Days. A Tokyo Chase from uh, La Casa de Papel, also known as Money Heist on Netflix, one of my favorite shows. A couple Chainsaw Man pops. We got some Sesame Street again, another Elmo, a Flocked Cookie Monster, a Michigan J Frog and a Gossamer there up top, Kermit the Frog. Couple fusion pops. Love seeing those. The boxes again are amazing on those fusion pops. Really love the purple. See that Eddie Funko there. Funko Shop exclusive. The new Shaun of the Dead. A Chase Baby Driver. Coming on over to the side wall, we got the brand new Elastigirl and Mr. Incredible. Did not have the chases, but the commons are awesome as well. An original Neo. A bunch of SpongeBob pops. Shrek there from Hot Topic. The Scary Shrek. Really, really nice selection over here. Some Flintstones, that Betty Boop, the, the tiny chase sticker. Just really great stuff over here. Glad you could stop by.
And stopping over here at our next booth, this is Cloud Zero Collectibles. He is the king of autos. One of my good friends. He is such a great guy, and he always brings the heat when it comes to anime autos. English voice actors, Japanese voice actors. You're looking for an auto, he's going to have it, and he did not disappoint at this show. Look at all these amazing autographs. That Funko Shop exclusive, Dracul, Dark Magician Girl, Hisoka, with the uh, Infinite Collectibles uh, sticker on there. Just so many good autos. And he's also got some non-auto pops up here as well. As you can see, that William Wallace, the Blue Chrome Batman, the original Shredder, Funko Shop exclusive Jim Halpert. Both versions of CM Punk, which are really, really nice to see. A couple selection of more common type pops. Coming over, looking at the back wall, he's got that signed Luffy with Thousand Sunny. What an amazing pop as well. That Freddy Funko from Fun Days. I believe that's the Stranger Things Freddy. Over here, he's got some more autographs. He's got a signed Batman. Looks like Kevin Conroy and a signed Spider-Man. I'm not sure who that's signed by. Freddy Funko Megazord, signed Grimjow, a signed Ichigo. That looks like Johnny Youngbotch, but that is an Ichigo pre-release. Just some super, super fire here at Cloud Zero Collectibles. So if you're ever in the area, definitely check him out. And coming on over here to our next booth, we got our friends AIC Collectibles always hanging out at these local shows, always bringing some great pops. As you can see, starting off, they got two signed Pikachu Pokemon pops up there. The Mike Wazowski from Monster University and a Count from Sesame Street. Seeing a lot of Sesame Street today, which I love. Those pops are great. I'm browsing over his wall here. He's got a couple Freddy Funkos, that Freddy Funko Cyclops, Freddy Funko as the Devil from the Halloween NFT series. Really great pop there. A Freddy Funko Metallic Elvis, the Freddy from the Virgo and Cancer. Those were the Zodiac Freddies. A signed Daryl Dixon. That is a nice pop. As well as a Bob Camp signed Ren and Stimpy. A couple of the Pop Asia pops this year. So, uh, from this year, San Diego. And some 3D printed Funko signs. Love to see that. Some more anime pieces out here. And uh, some Marvel mixed in over here on this wall. And coming back over to his main wall, just more of these Freddies. This one right here, the Metallic Blue Ranger, the Glow in the Dark Shredder from this year's Fun Days, and that Gold Goldie Roger. And coming over to our last booth of the day, two of my favorite people out there, Puerto Rican Pop Hunter and your boy Tone. Look at what they got out here. The Caesar Clown Con sticker, Flame Wingman Con sticker, Richito Funk Con sticker. They always bring some great pops, a lot of con stuff. They're all over the place. Two great guys and always bringing a nice, nice selection of pops as you can see on, on their wall here. We got that Sandlot set, Happy Gilmore, Chubbs, rest in peace. And we got some of the Care Bears down below, some Gloomy Bears. We got an Anti-Venom over there. What else? Some other Spider-Man pops. The Funko HQ Hulk coming on over here. An amazing collection of Walking Dead pops. So many different zombies, so many different characters. Just a ton of Walking Dead. And I love seeing that because Walking Dead was one of my favorite shows when I was watching it. And it's just a lot of great pops that Sasha Funko Shop exclusive, the black and white Bloody Negan from Toys R Us, Merle Dixon, the original Rick Grimes, the Tank Zombie, just so many, so many different characters to choose from. So if you're a Walking Dead fan, this is like heaven for you. Coming on over here, we have the Freddy Funko Roddy Roddy Piper, Freddy Funko as Mr. Freeze, Zaranar Batman, Batman from Alamo City, 
That is a hard to find piece. Another gold, that's a gold Pirate Freddy actually. Uh, Freddy's Amazing Carlos. And this beautiful 250 piece Freddy Funko Blue Ranger Glow in the Dark. That is one I definitely need for my collection. Coraline with Cat. And then we got the Coraline Chase with the, the raincoat. This is great with another Coraline coming out for New York Comic Con this year. Coming on down, we see the Chase Orange Piccolo and a Chase Bob Ross with Hoot. And zooming on in, we have that funko Ian Batman as well as the Freddy Funko Mr. Freeze. Just so many great pops to choose from over here. So many old ones, so many new ones. Look at these fusions. We got the Cylon Chase, a D original Jesse, the Disney Store version. More Sesame Street, love to see it. And just a lot of Disney and video game characters over here. A Flock Doug from Hot Topic, Glow in the Dark, White Lantern, Batman. A whole wall of Batman pops here. So again, if you're a Batman fan as well, this is another spot that you're going to want to check out if you come to these shows. Because they always bring a really nice selection of pops you guys to choose from. And coming on over to his, looks like his anime section. Uh, and some more fusion pops actually. And up top, a more Walking Dead, that Negan and Carl 2-pack, the Books A Million exclusive. And there's a Dracul Mihawk, that is the Funko Shop exclusive. Some more Disney, some more cartoons down here. Coming on over, oh, look at that big bird here. Going with our Sesame Street theme of the day, a Chase Indominus Rex from the Fusion line. And then coming on over here, more Walking Dead, the Daryl Dixon Chopper, that is a great pop as well. This big Elsa, Marshmallow, and Olaf 3-pack. You really don't see that often. And one of my favorite things ever, this bow. Look at the little dumpling. You don't see that often. Love seeing that. But yeah, definitely, if you're ever at these shows, check out Puerto Rican Pop Hunter and your boy Tone. All right, guys, we are back. And that show definitely did not disappoint. Love the new location. Love the layout. Everything about it was just really great. And no, I did not leave that show empty-handed, as I did have to pick up. Two new pops for my personal collection, and they both came from none other than your boy, Tone. If you don't follow him, check him out. He always hooks me up with some amazing deals. He's always out at all the cons that Funko does, him and his dad, Puerto Rican Pop Hunter. So if you don't follow them, if you don't know them, definitely check them out. And the two pops he gave me are amazing, and they're going to fit into my collection well. And the first one I got is the 4,500-piece Freddy Funko as Peter Pan. This was a... Give a giveaway, I believe, at WonderCon uh, a couple of years ago, and I've just always wanted this pop. Never really pulled the trigger on it. It's going to go great next to the Freddy Funko as Captain Hook. I got it Fun Days. So, yeah, really glad I was able to pick this up. And speaking of Fun Days, the second pop I picked up from Tone was the beautiful, beautiful 250-piece glow-in-the-dark Freddy Funko as Blue Ranger. Uh, this I absolutely needed. I was trying to trade for it. I get it at Fun Days. Wasn't able to do it. I have the metallic one, but the glow one is just amazing to me. Check out the glow here. It just looks so good. I have all the other Freddy Rangers except for the Black Ranger. That one is definitely out of my price range, but, uh, you know, one can dream maybe one day. But this pop, I just love it. I love the way it looks. Just everything about it is great. So got to thank Tone for hooking it up. Great that he was able to get me these two pops. All right, guys, so let me know if you've gone to any conventions or local toy shows in your area. And if you have, what did you pick up for your collection? Let me know in the comment section down below. And also, we are so close to 3,000 subscribers. Can't thank you guys enough. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, please just click that button. If you don't want to miss any videos like this going forward, don't forget to like the video. That helps out as well. So if you could just subscribe and like, uh, I'd really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching.